Hello everyone and welcome for the third scenario of Algidars and Castusis. The third one is the Tartar Yoke and it's gonna be a complicated one against the Tartars so it'll be a break from the Teutonic Order's uh, <clears throat> battles that we are having that were very tough and now we're gonna meet another tough enemy. So although it's a one sword uh, campaign that is a pretty challenging and there'll be one achievement here which is the Scattered Ord. Very good, you need to kill the commanders before defeating the Ord. So it's actually pretty useful for the scenario, but let's go, let's try our best and finish, finish off this. With the Crusaders licking their wounds, many expected Algirdas and Kestutis to finally clash over who should be the sole ruler of the country. Yet again, their unprecedented loyalty to one another kept the peace allowing the brothers to focus on expanding their realm. To the southeast of Lithuania lay the city-states of the former Rus. The Tatar yoke weighed heavily on these once flourishing cities. One hundred years of exorbitant tributes to the Golden Horde had bled them dry, while the Khans built golden palaces on the banks of the Volga. With the Horde weakened by internal disputes, many of the oppressed cities welcomed the Lithuanians as liberators. But some were not so eager to simply replace one overlord with another. The inhabitants of the newly independent city of Kiev saw the Lithuanians as the greater threat and sought an alliance with their former Tatar masters. A move that Algirdas and Kestutis would not leave unanswered. The Lithuanian army marched south with determination, storming the principalities of Chernigov and Pereslavl in quick succession. The brothers aimed to face the Golden Horde and its allies on the steppe. A bold move, and a tremendous risk that none had dared to take before. Despite their internal squabbles, the battle-hardened Tatar-mounted archers were still considered invincible. But Algirdas and Kestutis were determined to prove otherwise. Well, let's try our best here. It's a very particular scenario where you focus only on military. You get some villagers, but it's not an important economy. Actually, the only economy that's important is the one that your brother is going to be. Because there will be one brother dealing with economy only in a defenseless village, and the other one will be full military. So, it'll be interesting, and let's be fast, let's be good. So, Conquer Cap, by killing the Separatist forces that are rebelling against you. <coughs> Algodars has brought population to 200, the brothers agree that his tutsis will seek on matters, and Algodars will fully campaign against Golden Horde. So, we cannot train villagers or even build town centers. And Castasis will not train many military units, and Castasis will provide you with resources and manpower, uh, but I should protect him. Uh, later on, I will be... Actually, I can control him. That is a pretty big deal. And I can control if you want to produce me gold, food, whatever. You are the Golden War patrols prowling to wave from Smolensky to Kiev. So yeah, there will be many of them. And we should try our best to kill them and get to Kiev and squash the rebellion. So Por has been seized in Kiev by separatists. And we're gonna go after them, and the Algatars must defeat this garrison of swordsmen, pikemen, and crossbow. So, Golden Horde Yellow consists of several separate people. There's a Bulgar uh, wing, uh, Purple, which is the Bulgarians with Konix, the Kipshak with Kipshak, and other archers from the, the steppes, and the Tartars, which are most powerful, and it will be the Tartars, and they will use the Kashyyyks into battle. So, it will be pretty tough, along with the Golden Horde, which are the Mongolians. Well, let's go. Kiev is not far away, but its garrison Come refuses right. to hand right. over the city. Right. So stay here in Smolensk, my brother, to secure our advance. I will right. so Kiev and so change right. so their right. attitude towards us. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Let's go with this place here, with the axe. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's so cool. He has a maze, so the sound that it makes is so distinct. So let's kill him. We are really nearby Cap. Because this is sleeping for him. So now we're gonna be here by the city. Uh, I should be there is small, so there are some small things hiding so they're pretty good for the Давай, very good. So now we know what is probably the hardest part. Uh, now we play. We do the. That's a pretty good amount of things, actually. No, no, I don't want to lose any other players. Any other units with these guys. Get all it. Oh, I still got my leg. The residents of Kiev have surrendered, leaving the city in our hands. Time is of the essence. We must strike quickly if we want to defeat the Golden Horde. Okay, so we're gonna go for some upgrades. Maybe. Yeah. What else we got here? So, Kiev fell to the Lithuanians. Algadas and Kestutis are most unwise to take what rightfully belongs to the Khan. Sveiki. Stigris. Gloso. Kaisegisi. Do not worry about supplies, Algadas. I will instruct my laborers to procure whatever is necessary to keep the flame of war burning. Just keep your golden horns raiders away from us. <laughs> Here, take what I can spare. I hope it is enough for now. Don't 
Tava vale. Puxa a Puxa a Puxa a Tell me which resources you need the most, and I will do my best to gather them. This is getting kind of hard. Kaise kise? Kuzo. Tava vale. We got it. And now there is one more dock here. So yeah, you might be asking why it's trying this dock. That's why it's so concentrated. Well, apart from helping and trying my best to not get killed uh, early on. These people will. I also, yeah, probably. For you, my brother. Stone, please. Make good use of these resources. I see. Close you need close more to stone to build easy. walls, towers, and castles. I will procure the necessary building materials. Tava vale, Kaiser, me soube, eu espalhei. Tava vale, o chapé, gozou, muito dia. Kaiser, que isso? Termina. that there is a relic here if i'm not mistaken i mean there's a lot of st stuff i believe that it's there or somewhere really nearby Yeah, that's a very happy It is time to smash some skulls! Swing your flails and give them hell! Yeah, I'm probably gonna need more food. Food, please. You need more food supplies. Good. I will instruct my men to gather more food. These people will work for you, my brother. Cash passive. 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 Cash pass
Amy, 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 Make good use of these resources. Speak. 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 Sveiki, klausau. Eimi kastu. Aš pasiruošiuosi. Ką įsakysi? Eimi statytų. Aš pasiruošiuosi. Eimi statytų. Ką įsakysi? Klausau. Eimi kastu. Klausau, supratau. So yeah, I'm about to destroy the outer docks because as you can see, there is a small objective where you can actually liberate a trade here, which is pretty cool. And really, in the beginning, it's a lot of concentration, sometimes I get so surprised, so, so I apologize if I'm not interacting much. But it's so, so good and so intensive, and then we get better. I believe it's here, if not, it's here, no. Or maybe there's two here, I don't know, I don't, uh, I'm gonna explore, there's many stuff to explore. And if I get a relic, I can get more gold, and also I can make much, much better my life here. Is I can get some Let extra the carnage time. begin! Oh. The Lithuanians will regret setting foot in our domain! Speaking. Okay, we really need food. <laughs> we need food. <laughs> We sank all of the pirates' ships and destroyed their hideouts. Our boats can now safely navigate the river. Amy, Soprato. Very good. So Smolensky now can trade with us. Sveiki. Amy, Soprato. 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 Amy, Statito. Close out. Sveiki. Close Soprato. Ride, Keshix, ride! Amy, Amy, Soprato. Anyone Amy, foolish Stigos. enough to venture into our steps will earn nothing but a bloody death! Oh, some enemies here. Our scouts just discovered that three bays command the Golden Horde's forces. Oh, really? Good. Slaying these commanders will throw their armies into disarray and make the fight much easier for us.
So tower shields is a must have for me. The Golden Horde is ravaging my camp. I urgently need your help, brother. Yeah, protecting you with castles is one of the best things that I can offer. Make good use of these resources. Well, let's fish. First, accumulate a good amount of things. How do I kill you fast, Demetrius? I probably just find you for now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna assassinate this guy, so... Oh my, you wanna get rid of this bit. The Golden Horde is ravaging my camp. I urgently need your help, brother. Demetrius is dead. Without their prince, the Tatar division of the Golden Horde will be a mere shadow of its former self. Make good use of these resources. <laughs> Very good. So, yeah, yeah, but enough. I need probably now kill. Gold, please. I will try to fulfill your wishes. My laborers will now focus on mining gold. Speaking. Yeah, my... Whoa, loot. Plus two piece armor? That's pretty good.
Aš pasiruošęs. Eimi, eimi statyklas. Kaisa keisi. Eimi, su klausau. Klausau. Tuoju. Supratau. Kaisa keisi. Eimi, Kaisa keisi. Eimi, statyklas. The Golden Horde is ravaging my camp. I urgently need your help, brother. Oh, crap. I can actually use this. resources. Go Tava Valley. If there is another general that I can kill here from behind. Gold. Gold. I will please. try to fulfill your wishes, Algatas. My laborers will now focus on mining gold. Close all. Make good use of these resources. Kaisa Gizu, Tava Valia. Right. So we get more than enough for the winged assault. So maybe I need more massive way of troops instead of focusing on one. Kaisa Kisa, close to Ios. In the Kaisa Kisa, close Tava 
sveiki. Ravaging my camp. I urgently need your help, brother. Close up. A Mecastro. Nice. Another Townsend. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, if I go massive archers here, that's probably the trick. Close up. Hey, me, so brother. Hey, I can defend the rest. Make good use of these resources. Close out. Close out. Stay close out. 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 Close Kaisa Gizi, so, time to use Trebuchus, Sniper Castle, attempt kill, Kublut back. Ash Passerosh, say Kiglosso. Soprano, Toyo, make your stone. Kaisa Gizi, Kozo, Soprano. Focus on gold, man. Gold, please. I will try to fulfill your wishes, Halgadars. My laborers will now focus on mining gold. of these resources. Kutluk Bay fell to our blades. The Bulgar wing of the Golden Horde will now be much less of a threat. Oh no! So, no. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh no, he got stuck. So now we're gonna go for the last general, and it's very interesting that it's another small small spoiler because as you can see there is a pretty tough place here to enter but here there is a crazy passage are you gonna say crazy you guys are never seen this amy go so speaky amy statitun go so amy so we're so proud of So I can have been done cap and go straight for my end because I got so many, so many. So many castles that are very well protected there. Gozo. Make good use of these resources. Kachi Bey, the leader of the Golden Horde's Kipchak forces. Without his guidance, his followers can no longer carry out advanced maneuvers. Good parts I do not even destroy these fortress, just the three other wings of the horde and then you go. Speak it. Close Instruct my men to gather more food. Make good use of these resources. So yeah, the best one, which is a red, is probably going to be the first one to feed.
has been crushed. Do not let up now, men. Soon the entire step will be in our hands. And it's time to get one step behind the kitchen. Guys, are you here? Food, please. You need more food supplies. Good. I will instruct my men to gather more food. Make good use of these resources. Very well. Let's go back to the destroyed cap. Ja, 
aš pasiruošęs. Klausau. Tuo jūs. Make good use of these resources. Supratau. Tuo jūs. Tuo jūs. Ok. Two of the Golden Horde's armies are shattered. Only one remains. Whoa, that's good strike. Left out, that's not boring. Dive a valley. Go so, brother. Go so. Go so, brother. Go so, Guys, I guess you. Amy, brother. Aš pasiruošęs. Ką įsakysi? Supratau. Sveiki. Klausau. Sveiki. Klausau. Tuo jūs. Tavo valėje. Ką įsakysi? Eimi savo viešpadė. Klausau. Eimi savo viešpadė. Sveiki. Ką įsakysi? Klausau. Supratau. Ką įsakysi? Mušiapi. Yes, I'm Castle Age. Man gudai apranklai. Not the lead to things. Aš pasiruošęs. Eimi, eimi dirbtų. Klausau, eimi, supratau. Tavo valėje. Klausau, viešpadė. Ką įsakysi? Tavo valėje. Klausau, ką įsakysi? Eimi, supratau. Ką įsakysi? Supratau. Eimi. Sveiki. Sveiki. Tavo valėje. Klausau, viešpadė. Ką įsakysi? Klausau, eimi. Eimi. Klausau, viešpadė. Tavo valėje. Klausau, eimi. Klausau, supratau. Eimi statyti, eimi statyti, eimi statyti, eimi statyti, eimi statyti, klausau, eimi statyti, klausau, pirmina, ką įsakysi, ką pavarė, eimi vaikė, ką įsakysi, ką šiapė, aš pasiruošęs, eimi statyti, klausau, pirmina, pultė, mušiapė, pultė, ką įsakysi, eimi, supratau, Sveiki. Aš pasiruošęsi. Make good use of these resources. Food, please. You need more food supplies. Good. I will instruct my men to gather more food. Sveiki. Eimi statytum. Tavo valėje. Ką įsakysi? Ką įsakysi? Eimi statytum. Trojums, trojums. 
These people will work for you, my brother. Yep, break, break. The Bulgarians are done. Then we got the scatter order, uh, the scattery horde achievement. Only with this scenario made in hard difficulty, like any scenario that I play in the horde of this game. Make good use of these resources. Amy? How on earth did the Lithuanians overcome our invincible horse archers? Everyone, pull back and retreat to the Crimea! Well, that was it. And then, Yellow resigns and we got to a very good army who are fabricious. Winning scenario. We often call members of the Golden Horde Tatars, but in reality, the Horde consists of a multitude of Turkic peoples. Among its ranks are flail swinging riders from Volga, Bulgaria, Cumans from the Kipchok steppe, and Mongols from Siberia. Such a diverse crowd of peoples and cultures, all united in humiliating defeat at the hands of Algirdas. When the Lithuanian army moved south, crossing the Dnieper into Podolia, the bays of the Golden Horde scrambled to stop them. But it was to no avail. 
Armed with spears and swords, the Lithuanian soldiers broke the front lines of the horde. The Tatars could not hold their formations and retreated in disarray, leaving their Khan no choice but to flee to the Crimea. The blood of horses and warriors slain by blade and arrow colored the dry grass of the steppe red. Algirdas's decisive victory established the Grand Duchy of Lithuania as a major power, bringing him both new friends and enemies. Well, apparently, we probably will need to face the Golden Horde later in the campaign. But yeah, that was a pretty tough battle. Over 1,000 kills. That was an awesome kill in battle ratio. And also, um, our economy was basically all about receiving the reboot, and we did very well. Uh, and also, we got... Yeah, nice research counts. Some villagers as well. We got 13 castles. That's epic. That's something that I don't do always. That's pretty cool. Too bad that I couldn't really get the relics, so I did a very messed up uh, choice there. But anyway, let's show the relics. So there was one here. And who knows where is it now? It was probably here. I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's there. There was another one here, and there was one here, very, very far away, but very good if you pick, because, you know, plus three attack. Very good, we did excellent, and the Bulgars are always the hardest one to get. There are about three castles, there's a lot of cavalry, really hardcore, but we made it, and we did very well. So GG, people, thanks for watching, and I see you next time.